Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Update for Thursday, November 12th, 2020. It is Football Thursday at DocSports.com. Thursdays every week throughout the course of the football season. That's when we post our entire week of college and pro football plays Thursday through Monday. Today is no different. All of my college and pro plays from today right through Monday Night Football will be available at DocSports.com. We're looking at seven plays. And also, by the way, real cool, uh, our game not affected by COVID. I've got a seven-star college football conference game of the month going on this card. It goes Saturday and it's part of the seven-play package. Love the NFL card. We've got a six-star top in the NFL card this week, all available on my Handicappers homepage at DocSports.com. Uh, we're 67% the last four college football Saturdays, including last week's winning day, uh, which was led by that eight-star play on Iowa over Michigan State 49-7. So let's rack it up. Let's keep it going this weekend. All the plays available Thursday afternoon, DocSports.com, right through Monday Night Football. And again, seven-star conference game of the month in college football uh, will be my lead play this week. And by the way, those seven-star slash main event plays for me in college football, now on a 42-26 and 26 run going several years back. So we'll look to continue the winning ways. We won yesterday in soccer. I passed, by the way, in college football with premium picks last night. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Uh, Going to pass on Thursday in soccer. I should be back in action on Friday looking ahead at the games. Uh, but Wednesday, we did win with Malta. Thanks to those of you who jumped on board. 6-0 and over the past eight or nine days now on the pitch in soccer. Uh, PGA is underway. We'll have our next pick available Friday morning over at DocSports.com. Tell you a little bit more about that on the late Thursday, early Friday video. But as you know, I play day-by-day, round-by-round matchups in golf. 28-15 and 15 run as we head into first round play at the Masters. And again, we'll, I'm sure, be on a second round play for Friday. We'll talk again more about that on our next video. So that's what's going on for me as far as Korean baseball. I passed the Thursday morning playoff game between uh, KT and Dusan. Uh, and of course, Alcantara was pitching for Dusan. And even though he's 20 and 2 on the season, had been phenomenal. Uh, he had a sore neck last time out and he didn't have his stuff. And we just weren't willing to jump in at that big price and back him, not knowing if he's going to have his stuff or not. So uh, if there is a game four, which would take place on Friday morning, I will be in action. And uh, you'll be able to get that play on Thursday afternoon at DocSports.com. But again, football Thursday. Football's the star here on out right through Monday night. You can grab all my plays, all seven plays, including the seven star on Thursday, DocSports.com. All right, let's get back to our winning ways. We lost last night with the freebie uh, in Mac play, but we are going to look to get right back in the win column uh, with NFL total action for Thursday night. Of course, that's the battle between the Colts and the Titans. Checking the numbers right now. Got about oh, 16, 17 books in front of me for both Nevada and in locations far, far away from Southern Nevada. And uh, we're looking at 48 and a half for the total. Just about every book has 48 and a half. A couple of 49s, but I doubt too many people will be able to find that. We're grading this at 48 and a half. And I'm recommending a play on the under in this one. Listen, uh, as far as Tennessee in the passing game, it's not been great the last couple of games. Tanny Hill's been a little bit off, and I expect them to kind of play it safe in this game. The thing about Indianapolis, they don't let you get behind them in the secondary. It's a rare situation when that happens. So they keep the play in front of them. And they actually have more interceptions than touchdown passes allowed. 11 picks, only 10 touchdown passes allowed. And uh, they might be one or maybe the only team in the NFL that has done that this late in the season uh, this year, <clears throat> excuse me, having more picks than touchdown passes allowed. They don't give up a lot of a, a lot of deep passes. They don't give up a lot of 20-yard plus plays. So Tannehill's going to have to dink and dunk in this game, which probably doesn't bother him too much because of the way things have been going lately. Uh, their passing yards per attempt average has dropped right down the last couple of weeks. They want to run the football with Derrick Henry, and he's going to want to run the football. I don't think either team's going to go off on the opposite side of the football. And let's not forget that despite losing to Baltimore last weekend, Indy gave up less than 270 total yards in that game. It was really uh, turnovers that uh, were the difference in the game. So look for this to be uh, a game that stays under the total. That is our opinion, our free pick for Thursday under between the Colts and the Titans. Again, as I cut this video, the total sitting at 48 and a half. Don't forget football Thursday, all the plays available today, Thursday afternoon, DocSports.com on my Handicappers homepage. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column.